flight attendant. I was in college studying business management and I just saw an ad for it. Just went and applied, interviewed and got it. Um, and then after the fact, I went back and finished my degree. Okay. So I did it both, flying and going to college at the same time. For the first five years, you have to be very, very flexible. Mm -hmm. um, so you give up your life you have now yeah. for about five years to eventually get a life that's more flexible mm -hmm. and has benefits and flying and traveling. Yeah. Sometimes if there's weather, um, mm -hmm. we call it non-routine situations, and you might be on duty for 15 hours mm -hmm. and have minimum rest where you might get four hours of sleep and then you're back up again. Yeah. So if you're doing that 18 days a month and have a month that has, you know, lots of storms and it, it can it can be really tough on your body. Yeah. Um, and then secondly, probably just the culture of people today in today's mm -hmm. society, yeah. how they act, how they behave, um, that's challenging. Mm -hmm. How do you overcome things like that? A lot of patience. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> a lot of patience. Um, you know, when things escalate, knowing how to de-escalate, mm -hmm. um, relying on your crew members and the team mm -hmm. um, for the delays and the long days and everything. You just have to try to stay healthy. I guess it's kind of different from a normal job because in about five minutes you have to get to know your team. Mm -hmm and be able to depend on each other and it happens real quick yeah um the flexibility um and being able to travel yeah. and having something new and different every day um i don't think i could do a desk job where yeah. you just do the same routine eight to five every day so even though at first it's hard because you miss out on a lot of things when you have the years behind you, you can like you can have weekends off, you know, but you may work three days a week, and then you have four days with your family. Mm -hmm. So it's just kind of a diff different trade off. But if you can get through those first five years, <laughs> yeah, then it has a lot of benefits. I mean, you can go to the airport and say, where do I want to go? Yeah. And as long as there's a seat available, you get on a flight. Um. I don't think a lot of people realize, you know, the training, um, the intense training we go through in case there were an accident, um, the medical, in case someone has a heart attack on board, those kind of things. I mean, it's been rewarding because you get to meet so many different people, mm -hmm. and it's, it's fun to share with the, you know, they'll tell you stories and, mm -hmm. you know, and just, you know, seeing other people, their perspectives, their lives, you know, you get a different perspective. Yeah. Okay. So my name is Kathy Hazel, and about, oh, 15 years ago, I started fascination photography. I got my degree in psychology, mm -hmm. and it was my daughter's senior year in high school. She needed senior pictures, and through really weird circumstances, her appointment got canceled three times because of weather and she finally said we're not gonna have time to do this so she said mom let's just take Keith's camera and go out and take some pictures mm -hmm. <laughs> and so we did and I fell in love with it so right. it kind of chose me that's cool absolutely um, technology is constantly changing um, I've taken courses in um, the camera and camera settings I've taken courses in Photoshop. I've taken um, lots of continuing education courses. There's tons of information on YouTube. Um, if I feel stuck, I'm, I don't feel like I'm ever gonna know enough in this yeah. career. So anyone with a camera can take pictures. Mm -hmm. um, the level of professionalism is kind of where I draw the line and 
a lot of people think they're photographers, but they haven't studied at all. They just take pictures and think, oh, these look good. Um, when you study photography, you can get an idea for what's a good picture and what's a bad picture. Mm -hmm. And so the advice I would give you is never stop learning. Um, I love the creativity. Mm -hmm. I love learning. Um, yeah, it's, it's, you know, it's, I have a fascination with photography mm -hmm. and I feel like I'm never going to reach that perfectionist level and I just keep trying. Yeah. <laughs> I love, I, I think it's just in you. If you like to take pictures, it's just in you. And it, it keeps you coming back and wanting to learn more.